me, Brie, also known as Brie Baby. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you guys get notified every time I post a new video. I posted a story on Instagram for people to ask me questions. So that's what I'm going to be doing, a get to know me video, just so you guys can get to know me a little better and I can answer all your guys' questions here on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Question number one. Where are you from and where do you live now? So I'm not going to say where I live now because that's just kind of personal information that I don't want to put out there on social media. But I'll tell you guys where I'm from. I'm from the Bay Area. I was born in South City. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but it's like a little city before San Francisco. I was born in South City and I was raised in Redwood City like my whole life. Like since I was like six years old, I've been in Redwood City. Like I went to high school, middle school, a little bit of elementary school there. So when people ask me where I'm from, I just mainly claim Redwood City. Okay, next question. What's your real name? My real name is Brianna, but I like to be called Bree because I just always been called Bree like my whole life. My whole family's called me Bree, and when people ask me like, "What's your name?" I just say Bree. I don't ever say like Brianna. I just say Bree. But Brianna is my real name. Okay, next question: How old are you, and what's your sign? I am 22 years old. I'll be 23 in June, and I am a Gemini. <laughs> you know what they say about Gemini's? Okay. Question number four, how many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. I have my older brother, he's the oldest, and then I have my older sister, she's, I forgot how old, I don't know how old they are, but it's her, and then it goes me, and then I have a little sister under me. So I am the second youngest, I think. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, next question. Are you single or are you in a relationship? I'm in a relationship right now. I've been with my boyfriend going on a year. Next month in March will be a year that we've been together. Okay, next question. What inspires you the most? Okay, that's a good question. So I would say what inspires me the most is my niece. My niece is like everything to me. And I just feel like my niece has brought like such a blessing to my family. Like, um, I say it brought my family a lot closer, you know? Like, we do a lot of things for my niece. Like, for a perfect example, like for Christmas, like, my brother went all out and he bought Santa Claus suit and like dressed up for her all for Christmas. Like, we just always come together as a family for my niece. Like, my niece inspires me. Like, I want to give my niece the life that we didn't have growing up. So that's the thing that inspires me the most. Okay, next question. Um, what did I do before coming a stripper? Okay, so if most of y'all don't know, I used to be a stripper. I'm not a stripper no more. I stopped stripping about maybe three, four months ago. But I will save that for another video why I stopped dancing and I'm no longer dancing no more. Um, what was I doing before a stripper? I was a... Elote girl, believe it or not. I used to work at the flea market selling elotes and a cup on a stick with mayonnaise and cheese. I used to do all that before I was a shit. It's, it's hella funny. Like, that's a long story, but like I said, I'll save that for another video. I get qu asked questions about, like, my stripper life and everything a lot. So, like, I'll make a video based just on that. Um, okay, next question. Um, number nine. What age did you have to start doing things on your own? Okay, that's a really good question. Um, I had to start doing things on my own when I was about 16. I left my mom's house. I was like about like 15 and a half, going to be 16. I left my mom's house. Um, not that my mom kicked me out or anything. I chose to leave, you know. that. Like I said, that's another story. I'll make a video on that story another time. But um, I left my mom's house at a very young age. Um... I didn't know how to do anything. I didn't know how to cook. I didn't know how to drive. I didn't know how to do laundry. I didn't know how to do nothing at all. Like, I literally had to learn everything on my own at the age of like 15 and a half, gonna be 16, not knowing anything at all. It's not that my mom never taught me what to do. I was just that kid that I never wanted to learn anything. My mom would tell me all the time, like, come help me do laundry, come help me cook, like, come in the kitchen and watch me cook. And I would always just be that bratty ass kid to be like, nah, I'm, I'm cool. Like, I just wanted to sit on the couch and watch TV, you know? I just never wanted to learn. So when I moved out, I had to learn everything on my own, like, completely. Like, 
I didn't know how to do nothing at all. I remember, like, there was this lady who was like, how do you not know how to do your own laundry? Like, you're 16 years old and you don't know how to do laundry. Like, and that lady, she taught me, like, it was tough love, but she taught me, you know? She taught me a little bit, and then from there on, I just always done everything on my own. I learned how to cook on my own. I learned how to, everything on my own, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, next question. Um, number 10. Were you nervous to start dancing, and how did you get over being nervous? Um, I wasn't nervous to start dancing. I was more nervous because I was more nervous, like, of the girls, like, because I didn't know how to, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was barely coming into this, like, I'm fresh me, and all these girls who know they've probably been dancing for five, ten plus years. Who the hell knows how long these girls been dancing? So, I was really nervous about going in and looking hella dumb and these girls laughing at me, like, this girl don't even know what she's doing, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's what I was nervous for, but as far as, like, going in, stripping, like, no, I wasn't. I was very confident, and then I was like, I got this, like, I could do it. I was just more nervous for, like, the girl part. Like, they were just... I just didn't want to look dumb. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, next question. Um, what advice would you give to girls who want to dance? So, like, people always ask me this, like, what advice would I give? I'm not a, a person who's really good at giving advice, honestly. Like, I... I don't really know how to give advice. Like, I know this sounds crazy, but I really don't, like... My advice is basically, like, don't just do it just to do it because you see everybody else doing it. Like, there's a lot that comes with dance. Everybody thinks that it's just shaking ass and you just get your money. And it's not like that. Like, you have to build your clientele. Like, you can't just be stepping on another girl's toes because you see her making money. Like, you don't know if that's that girl's clientele. Like, you know, it's just, like, there's a lot that comes to it. So... Honestly, like, don't just do it because you see everybody else doing it, like, straight up, like, I can't really give you guys advice because when I went into dancing, I did it all on myself, I learned everything on myself, you know, I remember when I started dancing, like, girls would tell me, like, there's levels to this shit, like, you don't know which, you don't know the difference, like, and I used to get mad and I would be like, don't fucking tell me, like, in my head, I'd be like, don't fucking tell me, like, I, I, I thought I knew what I was doing, but no, like, as time went by me dancing, like, I knew like what that girl meant like there's really levels to dancing like so like I said like one day I'll make a video just based on that but as far as advice like I said just don't just do it because you see everybody else doing it you know I don't know I ain't really good at giving advice guys so. okay number 12 what are you completely over and done with okay I would say that I'm completely over and done with just my past completely like there's not one thing in specific that like I'm completely over and done with I'm just completely over and done with my past like I, I was the type of person to hold on to my past and keep crying about the past but I had to learn and realize that like crying over the past ain't ever gonna change anything like you just gotta move forward you know what I'm saying so I'm just over my past, I'm over all the pain, all the hurt, everything that I was holding on to, and I'm just over it, like, I'm ready to move on, live my life, and just get over that shit, like, I'm focused on my future and the woman that I'm becoming, you know, I don't need to worry about the past, something that I can't fix, you know what I'm saying, all I can do is, is better myself and move forward, so yeah, let's move on to the next question, um, number 13, What's something people don't know about you? Okay, I'm going to tell you guys something that people don't know about me. Like, this is not a secret. I just never really came, like, on, like, social media or anything to, to like, broadcast or say it. But it's not a secret. Like, I'm not, I'm not hiding it. I'm not scared to say it to anybody. Like, I'll tell everybody. So, something that people don't know about me is that I can't have babies. Um, I would like to do another video just based on that, why I can't have babies, but, um, I'm gonna save that for another time because that's, like, a, a subject that's, like, I have to explain to you guys so you guys can understand, and it's just a long story. Like I said, I'm gonna make a video on that, like, eventually, just not yet, but I will, but a lot of people don't know that I can't have babies, um, I don't really tell anybody, but like I said, it's not a secret. My friends know. Um, my family knows, everybody pretty much knows, I just never really broadcasted it. But, um, yeah, when I tell people, they're just kind of like, damn, really, that's crazy. Like, you would never think that, like, you would be like that, or you were born like that. You know, I guess I'll explain that some other time. 
But yeah, let's move on to the next question. What's my favorite thing to cook? Um, I would say my favorite thing to cook is like albondigas or like um, caldo de pollo. Like I really like soup. Like I just like soup with veggies. Like that's my favorite. But I don't really have like something that's like my favorite. My favorite like. I just love to cook. Like, you can give me a recipe, anything, and I never cooked it before, and I swear to God, it'll come out hella good. Like, I just have the hand to cook. Like, I can cook anything and everything, but I don't really have a favorite plate. Like I said, that's just my go-to. If I was to cook and everybody's like, what you want, that's what I'm going to choose because I just love soup. My man made me hella love soup. He's the one that used to bake me for it all the time, and I'll be like, no, like, I, we just had that, but... I don't know, I started cooking it for him, Hella, and now that's just like my favorite go-to plate. Yeah. Next question is, do you plan on having kids in the future? So, like I said, I can't have kids, and that this just like kind of a whole other story to explain to you guys. And like I said, I'm going to explain it. It's just really hard to like answer these questions and you guys don't like understand like my condition and everything. But, um, like I do want to have kids. If I can't have kids um, with the options that the doctor's given me, um, then like I'm okay with just having like my nieces and nephews. Like I know eventually like my brother's gonna have kids and my sister's gonna have kids. So it's like I've accepted if I don't ever have kids on my own, then I'm okay with that. I've learned to accept it and I've cried a lot about it. Um, I was really sad about it when I first found out, but now I'm so grown and like I've grown for me because I found out when I was really young that I just I've accepted it and I've I love myself for who I am so it's kind of like I said if I don't have them then I don't have them um I do maybe want to adopt I would love to like give a kid like from a different country who like you know has it really bad and it's really poor out there I would love to give them the life that I never had but that's like later on in life right now I'm just really young still and I'm just focused on myself and I just want to wait until I get a little bit older, maybe like when I'm 28, 29, I'll think about having kids then, but as far as right now, I'm, I'm not thinking about having kids, I'm just focused on me and my future. Next question, do you get along with your parents? If so, how do they feel about you being a stripper or having the OnlyFans? So I do get along with my parents, I talk to my mom almost every day. Um, as far as my dad, I don't talk to him every day, but he calls and I talk to him when he's able to talk to me. Um, but my dad is incarcerated. He's been incarcerated since I was in seventh grade. And he's in like a high maximum security prison, so like he doesn't get a lot of privilege. It's rare when I talk to my dad. I talk to my dad probably like six, seven times a year, if that. But my dad is very aware of what I do, and my parents support what I do 100%. They never tell me what I'm doing is wrong. You know, they're just like what every other parent says to their child. Be careful, be safe on what you're doing, don't trust nobody, things like that. But my parents have always been there for me, no matter what, whether they agree with it or not. They support me. Okay, next question. What made you become a stripper? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I'm not about to sit up here and make it seem like something made me become a stripper because nothing made me become a stripper. I became a stripper because I wanted to be a lazy ass little girl. I didn't want to work a 9 to 5. I wasn't trying to listen to somebody telling me what to do. I wasn't trying to go to sleep early just to wake up early the next day. I wasn't trying to do none of that. I ain't trying to wear no uniform for somebody like and a name tag. I'm not trying to do none of that. So I was like, hey, like I know I can shake some ass. I can make some money and call it a day. So I became a stripper. Okay. Um, next question have you ever traveled if so to where I've never traveled anywhere specifically like for vacation but I have traveled and dancing you know I've traveled to Texas I traveled to LA but as far as like vacation wise I've never traveled anywhere no okay number 18 what's your biggest fear my biggest fear you guys is death like I'm so scared to die like I'm scared to die. I've been scared to die since I was a little girl. Like, I've always told my mom. I remember being, like, three years old, crying to her, like, Mom, like, please don't let me die. I don't want to die. And my mom used to laugh at me and be like, 
your baby like you have your whole life to live you're not gonna die yet but i just always been scared of dying like i would say like if it wasn't death to be my biggest fear like my second biggest fear is drowning like i'm hella scared to drown like I, uh, uh like, even when I shower and, like, I'm under the water and I'm letting, like, my hair rinse from the soap and stuff, like, I literally have to have my face out because I'm just so scared of drowning, like, those are my two biggest fears, you guys, is death and drowning, I ain't trying to die or drown. Okay, next question. What made you want to start YouTube? So, I want to say what made me want to start YouTube is, like, I like the idea of, like, me recording and, like, the whole subscribers and all that but like my main reason why I wanted to start my YouTube is because I don't have no hobbies like um, I don't really do anything for fun like I'm kind of just like a boring person and like I've always wanted to do it I've watched vlogs I've watched people's YouTube channels I've watched them grow and I've always like I wanted to do that like it's just always excited me interested me so I'm like I want to do it I just was always hella scared to do it like and nervous like and one day I was like you know what like if I don't ever do it I'm never gonna do it so I woke up one day and I was like today's gonna be the day I start my YouTube channel and that's just like why I started YouTube I just want to make this my hobby and yeah Next question is, do you plan on staying in your hometown or do you plan on moving? So I do plan on moving and when I move, I want to move out of state. Um, when I move out of state, that's where I want to buy my house. I want to buy my house out of state because I want to start over. Like I want to start fresh, new life, new people, new environment, new everything. Um, and that's my plan. That's what I want to do in the future. Maybe not this year, but next year I do plan on moving out of state for sure. Alright guys, this is going to be our last question of the video. Um, the last question is, where do you see yourself in the future? So in the future, I see myself buying my own house. Like I said, um, I do plan on going back to school. I'm actually in the process of trying to go back to school. I just have to pay off my school loan because I was already, I went to school as a medical assistant. Um, I did finish that, but halfway through school, I was just realized, like, this isn't what I want to do. Like, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't really like it. So, I, I did finish, but I just never worked as a medical assistant, and I never paid off that loan. So, I have to pay off that loan before I could even go back to school. But once I do, I will go back to school, and I want to be a cosmetologist, so I can buy my own shop, and that'll be like a forever income that what well, female's not gonna need their hair done no matter how old you are you're always gonna need your hair done okay guys so that wraps it up for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up i'll be back with more videos stories vlogs whatever you guys like i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you guys in my next video thanks for watching